Hey, what's up guys? John here, and for the past seven years, I've been going to South Africa and working with different wild animals. I've always had a love for big cats, lions in particular, so I've been very fortunate to get to work closely with them. Over the years, I've been getting tons of questions. Some of the same ones come up all the time. So one thing we're gonna be discussing today is the question, can you have a lion as a pet? As I'm sure you already know, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll know that lion cubs are adorable. They're like these little balls of fluff, and when they're really little, they basically just look like big house cats. But if you want to keep a lion as a pet, there are some things that you need to know. Let's say that you're in a place where you're ready to go out and get yourself a pet. Regardless of what species you choose, there are some basic things that you're going to need to provide for any animal. Food, shelter, enrichment, and proper medical care. First, let's talk about food. I've had the pleasure of feeding and preparing food for many lions over the years, and it's not exactly as simple as just opening up a can of food and putting it in the bowl. In the wild, a lion wouldn't necessarily eat every single day, so many of the places where I've stayed, they tend to feed the lions typically two to three times a week. But on average, a lion can consume between 10 to 25 pounds of food every single day. So whether you're feeding your lion chopped up horse meat, cow fetuses, or zebra, you're gonna need a lot of meat which does not come cheap. Next, let's talk about shelter. Lions in the wild can run for miles, running across the plains and chasing down their prey. It's believed that lions roam between 10 kilometers and all the way up to even 50 kilometers in just one day. Even some of the most reputable zoos still don't provide the ideal amount of space that a lion would need to live in captivity. They need large areas to run, they need protection from the elements, and the only way to really do this is if you live on a massive ranch or a huge farm with lots of land solely dedicated to the lion's habitat. And I'm guessing that most of you probably don't live on a huge farm with acres and acres of open land. And if you do, I'm really jealous. But that brings me to my next point, the enrichment. So I've been seeing all these memes about how everyone's bored in the house and going crazy just looking for things to do. When you leave your dog inside for too long, he starts chewing the furniture and tearing up everything in sight, and a lion will do the same thing. Now imagine having a 400 pound animal that's a natural predator, and that animal now being bored and restless. Whether you're running your lion on a lure for exercise, playing different games to keep up their agility, or even just taking your lion out for a walk, keeping the lion entertained is no simple task. Lions can get very bored in captivity, so it's important to keep them entertained, but you also want to provide the best quality of life possible. Imagine if you were just stuck in a room with nothing to do all day long. You'd be ready to chew your arm off after a couple hours. So whenever you're taking in any animal, the quality of life is vitally important. Because quality of life is so important, your lion does need to stay healthy. So just like your dog or cat, you need to take them to the vet, you need to get them regular checkups, and they may require surgery. Obviously, you're not going to put your lion on a leash, put it in the back of your car, and just drive to the vet. So you're going to need a specialty wildlife vet who can come out and see your animal. This process can be very expensive and can run into the tens of thousands of dollars per year just to make sure that your lion stays healthy. Cute lion cubs grow up to be massive beasts. I'm sure you guys have seen videos where certain people who have animals and they raise them from when they're little, 
Those animals can run and jump into their arms, they can hug them. A lot of times when you raise an animal from when it's little, especially when an animal's used to jumping on you and cuddling you, that animal does not realize their own strength. At a place I went to recently, they have three rescued lions who absolutely love their handlers, but they can't go in with them anymore. The lions used to jump all over them and hug them and kiss them. If they tried to do that now, a full-grown lion jumping on you could snap your spine in half. Even if a lion loves you and just wants to hug you and cuddle you, even if a lion has no bad intentions, they can still kill you very easily. Their jaws can bite through bones like you biting through a carrot. Their claws can tear through flesh. Probably not the best choice for a pet. Lions are beautiful creatures. Whether you have a cute little baby lion or a big grown lion, they're truly majestic animals. When you see how beautiful and amazing these animals are, especially when you see how adorable they are as babies, it's very easy to understand why people wish to possess these animals. But as beautiful, incredible, and majestic as these animals are, they are still wild animals, and they're not meant to be pets. If it was possible, if it was economical, and if you could do it in a way that actually did benefit the animal, I'd be the first one to run out and get a pet lion up. But as I always say, they're wild animals. They're meant to be in the wild. They're not meant to be in your apartment. They're not meant to be in your house. They're not meant to be kept in your backyard. There are times when unfortunately animals do need to be in captivity, but this is something that's meant for the professionals. Leave that for the people on the big reserves, the reputable sanctuaries that take good care of the animals, the place that can provide the things I mentioned above not even including the fact that these animals can kill you, a lion is just not meant to be your pet. So if you truly love these animals and you really do care about them, a lion should never be a pet. So tell me in the comments, what have you guys been doing to stay busy while we're on quarantine? Are you bored out of your minds? Are you being productive? One thing you can do to make sure you stay productive is to learn a new skill, and you can do that with Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives, and they have thousands of courses and everything from art, photography, design. Since I've been shooting a lot more things on my phone lately, one course I've really been enjoying is iPhone and Android video editing by Heather Hubbard. For the first 500 of you guys that sign up with the link below, you'll get two free months of Skillshare. And after after that, it's under $10 a month. So click the link below and you can start learning a new skill. And now, because a lot of you guys have been requesting it, I'm going to show some bonus footage. This is some raw footage without music laid over it, and I believe some of these clips I haven't showed before, so enjoy. Have they ever shown any aggression towards you? No. Yeah. No. If a lion's already coming to eat you, you should have seen it 10 minutes before. <laughs> okay? Yeah. It's, it's too late. Once he's coming towards you, it's too late. Then you've got to deal with a different situation. And that's one of the reasons I like to call them over. I don't go over to them. Yeah, yeah. I call them over and you can see what they're thinking. Come here. Nope. Oh. And they're just playing, right? Yeah. Aina <laughs> <laughs> really likes lions. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Come on. Go, 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 go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to leave though, at least. Oh, man. You, you belong to the animals now. I wonder what's wrong with your shoes. I need to finish this shoe, bro. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> you're never supposed to run from them because then they think you're playing and they run. Okay, who's gonna win the soccer? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>